Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Yes, today is a face cam video. First face cam video in a very, 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 very long time. But today we have really exciting news. The amazing 24 hour rotating cosmetic store has finally been released. And I'm so excited to bring this to you guys because you can not only get the first ever cosmetics that were ever released inside of Dentress, you can get the berry stuff, the 100,000k berry stuff, 100,000, 100k berry stuff. <laughs> You guys are gonna see me mess up in live time right now. So obviously we have an update and obviously we also have daily rewards as well. And I kind of maybe already claimed my daily reward today. So don't have that for you guys today. But I need to show you guys this because this is absolutely insane. Like as you can see, there is a timer on our store page. We currently have 20 hours, 40 minutes and 30 seconds until the store is released for us. But let's check what is in our store today. Cause look, at this guys we have the sternly armor we have the koala ones we have a hammer weapon we have dual red sabers we have the yellow and white smoke but people have so many better cosmetics than i do i have seen people with the legitimate berry stuff inside of their cosmetic store so obviously we have a ton of different cosmetics that we actually have inside of the game the berry stuff being some of them so obviously if you guys find the berry stuff in your cosmetic store let me know down in the comment section below because i cannot wait to see it because I have seen the OG one, like this OG one was released two years ago now, like what in, what, June? June-ish, this was released, and I know, I'm gonna dress up with this video as well, um, obviously, cosmetics are just cosmetics, they don't give you any advantage in the gameplay, and we just have some fun with them in game, but I will address something while I am here right now, doing this whole thing, face cam, do you guys wanna see face cam, do you guys want face cam, obviously, it's a bit awkward for me because I'm not really a face cam type person. I'm trying. I'm trying my hardest to do face cam on streams and attempt videos. Maybe, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not used to it. I'm not used to you guys seeing my face because I do receive a lot of hate for how I look or my face isn't how I'm supposed to sound. Obviously, um, YouTube is my job, my career. Obviously, my face has never really been a part of my brand, but I'm branching out. Obviously, I do have my Twitch streams that I am doing. I'm doing a lot more games like Valorant and Overwatch, and we've been doing some Raft. We've been doing Minecraft over there as well. I'll just randomly just be like at 11:30 p.m. Oh my god, I've got to my donations off. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Thank you for subscribing, though, John. Oh, <laughs> I always have my subscriptions on for this. Always throws me off every single video. I swear. But the future of Dungeon Quest right now. We have to talk about this. I am going to be making a video, I've been working on this video for a while behind the scenes about what should happen with Dungeon Quest, because a lot of people see me as a developer of the game. I'm not a developer per se, but I am a head, a head moderator. I have been working on the game since it basically came out of, before anything, can I, can I say, fancy new keyboard that I got today. I <laughs> literally got a new keyboard. The first thing I'm doing is recording a video with it because why not? But what is happening with Dungeon Quest? Obviously, Dungeon Quest has been through a lot of changes. Obviously, we have had what? We've had so many dungeons. We have Desert, Winter, Pirate, Kings, Underworld, Samurai, The Canals, Ghastly, Steampunk, Orbital, Volcanic, Aquatic, and Enchanted Forest. And obviously the event dungeon being Egg Island. But where is Dungeon Quest going to next? I can't say. Usually I'd be like, oh yeah, there's another update coming, and I think they're working on another update. I'm not entirely sure. I know that Vinny's also working on Arena Champions. If you don't know what Arena Champions is, it's going to be Dungeon Quest PvP, basically, but completely different. But I don't know. I feel like I might spoil the video if I say this, but should we get a Dungeon Quest 2? Should we have a completely revamped Dungeon Quest? I think it might do very well. If there was a Dungeon Quest 2, completely separate game, would you guys play it? Would you guys want Dungeon Quest 2? Have a lore inside of a dungeon? Let me know in your comments down in the section below. Com se comments in the comment section down below. English 101 with Kira. <laughs> because I'm bad at English. I swear, I haven't been out of English for like the past few months. But would you guys like to see it? Would you play it? Let me know your thoughts and opinions on what you think about Dungeon Quest 2 down in the comment section below. Got it. See, pro gamer strats right here. <laughs> but... I'd personally play it. I'd love to see a revamp of Dungeon Quest, new coding, new UIs, new cosmetics, new dungeons, and I would specifically like to see a lore. 
put your theories down in the comment section below but what do you guys think of the rotating cosmetics obviously I am pretty bummed about it because I did spend a lot of money on cosmetics very early on in the game to make sure that I had very exclusive cosmetics so obviously I have armor cosmetics that go back to like some of the very very first ones being like the princess was I think in either the second or third cosmetic rotation we have um the angelic guardian which was in the first one we have ninja ones there's so many that were really really old I'm kind of disappointed that they're going to be back in the shop personally uh because I wanted them to stay a very very simple very easy for the cosmetic stores but I understand why Vinny has actually put it into the cosmetic rotations. Obviously, I would have loved to have seen different ways to do the cosmetic stores. So obviously, adding new things like different types of trails or new cosmetics just in general. But hopefully, fingers, fingers crossed that we do get different cosmetics very soon. It does kind of downplay the release of other things, but I, I like this. Like, look at these. We get the featured and we also have our cosmetic store. I personally have the Green Cap, Astral Vortex, Cyclone, Terminator Gauntlets, Enchanted Warrior, and Onyx Daggers. People have different ones all the time, but I, I don't know. I like this. I like it. I like it and I hate it. <laughs> Mainly because I don't have money. <laughs> money to buy cosmetics is very expensive. I think what? To buy some of the shops, I've had to spend like $100 on Robux. And that's a lot of money when there's like so many different variations, but what cosmetic are you guys looking forward to the most inside of this rotation i personally cannot wait to see the berry stuff come back in full and for all of you guys that couldn't get it because we actually grew a lot more last year than we did in any other one let me know if you guys are gonna be getting the berry what onesie oh my god berry onesie imagine if we got an armor piece to match with it can we Vinny? if you're watching this can we get a cure berry armor set i will take anything <laughs> Actually, I have no idea what I would want for this, actually. Um, I, I didn't really put too much thought into it, I guess, but I want more cosmetics. Do you guys have cosmetic theories? Oh my goodness, cosmetic theories would be absolutely great. I'd love to see your guys' opinion, because I know a lot of people are really disappointed that there aren't many uh, girl cosmetics, per se. There's, there's a lot of guy ones and a lot of like gender neutral ones, but I'd like to see like, you know, dresses. I'd like to see more like girly things, because that's what I personally wear. Like. I love wearing the Asana cosmetic, I loved wearing the Zero Two cosmetic and the Princess one because they just looked really nice and obviously mo a lot more of like, hey, I'm a girl gamer and I like playing as a girl compared to where as the onesies, like the panda onesie is kind of like general neutral, it doesn't really like show anything, but I don't know, what, what are you supposed to do in this? <laughs> like obviously Beach Girl was like a cosmetic of mine for a while that I used. People actually think that that was based off of my Roblox character, no, <laughs> it really wasn't. <laughs> It was just normal, but we have obviously like the panda onesie like you can't really tell if it like if you could add hair Into this I think it'd be a lot easier like customizable cosmetics I'd like to see so for example you have the panda onesie and then you unlock a variant to have like hair or you can add hair onto it or Add a different one so you can make it a purple panda or a red panda. I don't know I think color variants to unlock cosmetics would be very very good But what is the future of dungeon quest and what is the future of my channel? If you guys have stuck around for this long, um, we're doing a ton of di ton of different and new content coming up very, very soon. We are starting to do some Minecraft, and as I said, we are doing Minecraft streams over on my Twitch channel, uh, which is just twitch.tv slash kiraberry. We're going to be doing uh, lore SMPs. We're going to be opening up a brand new server as well to work with and partner with, so I'm super excited for that. As well as Hypixel, Mineplex, you know, Cubecraft, uh... Mod packs, we could do 100 day worlds, we could do speed runs, we could do a lot of things over there. And I hope you guys appreciate if I do upload some of that to my main channel here because I certainly love Minecraft. I've been playing it for like what, 10 years now? <laughs> How crazy is the thing that I've been playing a game for 10 years but then I've been playing Roblox and Dungeon Quest for two years and then it feels like a year, but I don't know. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed today's video and also if you enjoyed face cam, I guess, make sure to leave a like and also comment down below your favorite cosmetic and your theories for Dungeon Quest 2. Obviously, um, this is new. I'm going to be awkward. I'm not going to look what you guys expect. Expect what I look like. English. Still can't do it. As I said, I'm not going to look like how you guys expect. I'm going to be me. I'm not going to be some fake person. I have hidden behind a mask haha <laughs> dream reference for so long that 
no one really got to know me as a person and hopefully that opening up face cam to you guys and opening up streams and having a more I guess approachable type personality would be a lot better but yeah let me know if you guys enjoy face cam but if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel also make sure to hit the notification bell to be notified every single time i post a video or start a stream and i hope you guys have a lovely day or night where you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys in the next video or stream bye guys